Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be an organization video. I posted on my Instagram a poll asking you guys if you wanted more of an ASMR type of video or a regular video like I normally do where I sort of speed things up, I add music, I talk, and it was very, very close. So I think the ASMR came out at like 57% and the 43% was for just the regular video. So I decided because it's so close and because I also think this video is going to be fairly long because I've got quite a few things to organize that if I just did it as an ASMR and I didn't edit anything out, it would be a very long video. So I decided that I would kind of incorporate both. <laughs> now I don't have an ASMR microphone, I just have my regular phone, but ASMR videos as you know are generally quite calm so I'm going to try to not get excited about anything because I do tend to get excited and get loud. <laughs> But I'm going to try to keep it very calm and then I'm also going to incorporate, you know, some of the sounds of opening packages, things like that. So I've got quite a few things to organize for you guys. One of the things that I'm going to reorganize is my display rack on my desk. You guys know I love this thing. Now I have not reorganized it since I did my spring organization and um, I want to switch it out for more summer. So I want to implement more neons and things like that. I was hoping to wait till I get my package from Glitter Mix Canada, but I haven't received it yet and I do want to swap it out because my clients are coming in and they're looking at the rack and they've already looked at the rack so they're kind of getting bored with what's in there and it's not really like, they're not excited, right? Like when they sit down and there's something new in there, they're like, oh my goodness. Oh, see here, I'm getting loud and excited. Chill, Jen. It's an ASMR <laughs> So I'm going to be doing that. I'm also going to be organizing my um, or reorganizing some stamping plates. I'm going to be organizing some more rhinestones that I received and dried flowers. I've got some more decals that I need to organize. And then I also bought some more um, drawer organizers that I purchased that I posted in another video quite some time ago that I got off of Amazon. Um, I really, really like them and I want to organize my flakes that are in my drawer where my rhinestones are currently because now I have more space in there with the new rhinestone organizers. So I've got a lot of things to organize today. So if this is something that you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to start off by organizing some stamping plates. Um, I also just want to reiterate that this is not just an ASMR type of video. I am going to speed up some segments and add some music because otherwise it'll be too long. So in case in the intro, I gave you the impression that this was a full ASMR video. I think that I said that, but I just want to make sure. So as I said, I'm going to start off with my stamping plates. So you guys know from a previous video, I showed you guys that I ordered another book. Now this one I got off of AliExpress because I could not find the same books that I have originally purchased, which are these pink ones. They just didn't have any more of these. So the one that I just showed you has my smaller round and square stamping plates. And then I've got this sucker here who <laughs> is just too full to basically close. So what I'm going to do is transfer all of these into here because this one has two sections and I'm just hoping that I can close it and I'll still keep this one obviously um you know for the future I just I hate that it doesn't close it's driving me crazy I'm hoping that one day I will be able to find another one like this because it also drives me crazy that this is like holographic and does not match the other one I know you guys, we are, most of us are so OCD with stuff like that. Some of us are not, but man, I tell you, things like this drive me nuts. So I'm going to start off towards the back and basically I'm just going to stack them on the side. Um, and then that way they're kind of in order already of how I um, have already made them. 
Now these ones are a little bit difficult to get out, so I'm just gonna grab a cuticle pusher and push it out right there, just cause they're a little bit shorter. But it is nice, they do have an opening on the side here that you just give a little push and it will push everything out. So I am just going to do a little bit of ASMR here for you guys and then also speed it up and add some music. All right, so I've got all of those ones out. I've also got some larger ones in the side here. So I need to take those out as well because the other book does have the side slots and I think I've got one in the back. Yes, a clear jelly stamp one. So let's hope that they will all fit in here. I am sure hoping so.
Okay, so that is it for one side and it will close. Oh, I love that. Now, one thing I will say that I'm noticing is the pages are a little bit more of a um, flimsier plastic, a thinner plastic than the other ones. But the good thing about this, and I don't know if it's because of that, these, um, the stamping plates that have the white backing on them, like this one here, for example, it, they don't, they're not so tight. Like in the other book, I really, ha they're very tight. They still fit in the other one, but it's extremely tight. In these ones, they slide in a lot easier. So I will say that the stamping um, plates fit nicer in this one. And yeah, I hopefully that the material of this isn't too thin and it doesn't rip a lot easier because I will say, um, like when I'm sliding these ones in, for example, these don't bend at all. And you noticed I kind of had to, on this one, I have to kind of hold the page. I can't just slide it in because it bends. I have to kind of hold the page and then put it in. Um, whereas, like I said, with this one, you don't have to because these are really a lot thicker of a material. So quality wise, I would say that the material in these ones is a bit better, but we will see. Hopefully these last a bit longer because I do love that I can close this side, you guys. I absolutely love that. So I'm just going to continue on putting them all in here. And if all else fails, maybe what I will eventually do is just order another one of these for my smaller stamping plates so that I can have matching. Um, but for now, we're just going to fill this one up and then I'm going to see how they fit in my drawer as well because I said earlier, as I said earlier, I will be doing a um, room tour video for you guys today and I'm going to show you my drawers as well. All right, you guys, so definitely this one works way better. It closes so nicely. I still have room to grow. I have, I don't even know how many pages. I don't even know how many this holds. I'll have to look um, and I'll maybe post the number here for you on the screen when I go um, back and look at it. Now, I will say <laughs> there's just styrofoam um, pieces here. That's what this stuff is because there was a, a piece of styrofoam that they had in between the pages just to make sure that the, it didn't get bent or anything, which was really good. It came packaged very well. So I just have to make sure to get all that little, those little bits of styrofoam off of there. But other than that, I really like this. I'm just not in love with the color. It doesn't really go with my my aesthetic or my decor, but it's okay. They sit in my drawer. So I'm going to swing the camera around and just kind of show you where I have my um, stamping plates currently. So they are over here in this drawer. So I've also um, reorganized my pigments. So I put my pigments here and they're just at the back of the drawer. And then I, yeah, will have both of these stamping plates. I believe both of them will fit now nicely. One on top of the other. The drawer will still close. I don't think that they would fit side by side. Um, let me just double check here. I don't think so. No, we're, we're not quite going to be able to fit side by side. So I would just leave them like so. And I still have these two little containers here that are from Michaels that have my stampers in them. So I'm not in love with the way that this drawer looks right now currently. Um, like I said, I want to kind of reorganize some things in here. But so this one here will just go in storage for now. I will just put it in one of my little cubbies. So this right here, for some reason, was not cut properly. So I would definitely say, um, like it just looks like it, the edge just didn't come off yet. 
um, it closed before for some reason. It's not, it wasn't going to close now. So anyways, I would say, I think that the quality of the other one is, um, is good. The, like I said, the pages are just a little thinner. The material, the plastic that they use is thinner, but it seems like a bit sturdier. I don't know. And there was no flaws in it. This one did come with a flaw in it. And then obviously this flaw as well. So just a manufacturing flaw. But that is it for that. So this will go away. Next, I think I will organize the rest of my decals. So again, I will swing you guys around here and show you this drawer right here. So this is where currently I have all of my flakes and some chromes. This I'm going to be reorganizing. Um, I have sort of extra embellishments back here. I have oh, miscellaneous things in this container here. And then these are all my new rhinestone containers that I'm obsessed with and I love. And then I have some decal books. So I want to continue to organize my decals. So I got a gray book and a white book. Now I mentioned in the video, the gray one did come bent. Uh, in my top five favorites video because I showcase these books because I really really like them It did come bent so that is not okay, but I haven't reached out to the company yet to be honest guys I just have been busy and it was like the last thing on my mind So I'm going to get the rest of my decals. So I found these now I'm not going to put these ones in the book yet because I'm going to actually put these in my display rack and showcase them because they're super bright. These are all from Glitter Mix Canada. She has amazing decals. She has so many decals, you guys. I love them. But I'm going to pull out my big... Um, so I have this book here that is full of decals that I still need to organize. Well, it's not full, but there are some decals in here that I need to organize. And I still have this book here, this binder of decals. This is where I traditionally kept all of my decals. Look at all of these that need to be organized. <laughs> you guys. Like I have a whole whack load of Christmas ones that need to be organized. So again, this is going to take a bit of time. I don't even know if I have enough space in these little books. I might have to get another book. I'm not sure. So I'm going to organize them by um, type, obviously. So I'm going to try to keep all of the seasonal ones. I'm going to put all of the seasonal ones in my white container. Um, and the reason I chose the white is because I just kind of thought of Christmas, <laughs> starting off the theme of Christmas um, and winter. So I think these are also... I don't know. Oh, geez. My clip just came apart and all of the decals went flying. Okay. So I first need to organize these ones because they're just basically stacked. And then I'm going to need to take, um, well, I need to take all of them out of here. So I've got some random like sports ones. So I'm going to take all of them out of this book first and then I will organize them.
Okay, you guys, so as you could see, I didn't just have decals in there. Now, I really have not looked in the back of that binder for so long. I had no idea that I had these leaves. They've never been opened. I had all of this, I don't know what you call this, like tinsel paper stuff. I've never used it. I have no, ugh, no idea. And I had, I have some shell paper. Again, I've never used it. It's like, it's shell, but it's got sticky on the back of it. It's really quite thin actually. And then I had all of these Minx designs. I actually won in a contest many, many years ago. These are all those like Minx um, stickers. So, I mean, I likely wouldn't use these on a full nail or anything, but I'm keeping them because I feel like I could cut out stripes. Like, you know, they've got like these holographic ones. I could cut out stripes and use them. Or maybe one day I'll just use them on my toes or my own fingers or something. I just can't part with them, so I'm going to have to keep all of those as well. And these decals, I have i don't even know if I've ever used any of them. I was just like, oh my goodness, like they're super cute. Um, really pretty patterns on them. I have every color. I have silver, gold, blue, purple, black, white, and pink. But like even these flowers here, very, very cool. I don't know how thick they are. Let me pull one of these ones off, one that I like wouldn't really use. Okay, so it kind of tore, probably because it's 10 years old. Um, I don't know how well they would like go on the nail. I mean, not bad. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep those as well. I just, you know, you guys, like I said, we end up putting, oh no, this one won't come off my nail. Um, we end up putting stuff, you know, in our drawers or in the backs of our drawers or in cupboards, whatever, and we don't use it. Now I can't get this little thing off my finger. <laughs> First I was like, I don't know if it'll stick at all. Now it's too stuck and it won't come off. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that on there, I guess, or I'll try to get it off here. So I've organized them all into categories. So I think what I'm gonna do is first go into my pink book because my pink um, decal book is not full yet. So it's um, got all of the florals. So the blue one has all of the florals and then the pink one also has florals because I ran out of space. So I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way <laughs> so that I can have some space here to work because let's be real. So what I'm going to do is continue on with the florals in this one. You guys, I've got this little silver sticky stuff everywhere now. So I'm going to continue on with the florals in this one and then I'm also going to add um, butterflies into this one as well. So some of them um, I may have to cut if they don't fit, like for example, these Louis Vuitton ones. I'm gonna try to cut as much off the sides as I can so I can fit them. If they don't fit, I'll have to cut them this way. So some you know, decals um, will not fit properly in these because the slots are smaller. I also mentioned in my top five favorites video that Talia showcased um, some, I think they're called business card holders. And they seem like they're the same size, but they might be a little bit bigger this way, I'm not sure. And they are clear covers on them and she got those from Amazon. So let me grab the floral ones I found. Now I do have more florals in my um, display rack. Let me just pull these out as well. Um, oh, I've got so much stuff you guys, so much stuff. Okay, so I have some, is there florals in here? Are these just butterflies? No, where are all my floral ones? Am I crazy here? I thought I had florals. Maybe I put all of the florals away already and I just left out the butterflies. So I'm going to grab all of these butterflies and I'm going to put them all away. And then I'll decide what I wanna pull out for my rack. Um, so I've got some, I just wanna make sure Okay, so these are all butterflies. So I've got these floral ones here. These are another kind of like those other ones I just showed you. Like they're really pretty. I haven't used them because I just, I don't know, kind of forgot about them, I guess. So I'm going to stick those in here. Um, now the only thing that I don't love about these books is the backing because it's a fabric. The decals get stuck 
on the fabric because they're like sharp, right? So they kind of poke the fabric. So to get, the, sorry, that's my neighbors talking outside. And then I had all these like birds and flowers. So I thought, okay, I could, you know, put these all in with the flowers as well. And I think they're all different. So I do want to put them separate because of that. If they were the same, I would just double stack them, but they are separate. So ooh, that one's a little tight. So I'm going to give it a little haircut, just a little snippy snip. And stick that in again, like as I could, as I showed you guys. Okay, I'm going to take this one out and move these over here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put these with the Valentine's Day because they're they've got some like pretty words and they're very Valentine'sy. And I'll put this floral one up here. Okay, now let's go on with our little birdies, our little toucans. I wish, I've never been to Hawaii. I wish, I wish, I wish I was there right now. <laughs> that would be amazing. If you've been to Hawaii, let me know in the comment section. I know one of my clients was talking the other, on one of my other videos about going to Hawaii. Oh, there's little pineapples on here. I never even realized that. Will this fit in here? I think I must have cut these already to fit in the other book because they, they look like they've been kind of cut a little bit. All right, so I've got those. So then I want to go in with my butterflies. So I know I've got some doubles of butterflies. Um, so I've just got to organize the doubles. I know I've got doubles of these ones. So I'm going to organize that. And again, I might have to cut them if they don't quite fit. I'm just going to snip here. It'll be easier to get it out. Okay. And obviously, like these big ones from Glitter Mix Canada, they will have to be cut in half. So I will just kind of go around the butterflies like so. And I will stack those ones, each one of them, like together. So this one I can cut some at the top as well and at the bottom. And then let's hope it will fit. That one still might not.
So I'm, I'm going to move on to the, the um, seasonal book. I'm just going to do this for now, like so. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the seasonal book. So that's the white one. I'm going to put all seasonal stuff in there. So we'll start with Christmas because I've got quite a few Christmas. So I've got all of these <laughs> for Christmas. Quite, quite a bit of Christmas stuff. Um, the Grinch ones here I'm really excited to use next year. So these are done quite nicely in order that I can cut them really nicely in half. So I will just do that. So then what would come next? Uh, Valentine's Day in February. Okay, so I've got Christmas and Valentine's Day. Then we would do St. Patrick's Day, which I only have a couple of St. Patrick's Day ones. And to be honest, I probably will get, well, I don't know if I'll throw the other one away or not. I don't do a lot of St. Patrick's Day now, but I do do some. So cut this one. This one was really cute. I actually got it after St. Patrick's Day from Glitter Mix Canada, so I wasn't able to use it, but definitely next year it's got like these little fairies, which is super cute. I, I didn't know fairies were had anything to do with St. Patrick's Day. Like, I don't know if that's a thing, but regardless, they are stinking cute. I'm gonna get those in there. And then I have these ones, which I've had these forever. I think I'm just gonna throw them away. I don't even, they're not actually tattoos. <laughs> I know I've used them, but. So I might need, I might leave another slot just for, in case I get like another St. Patrick's Day one. And then I'm going to go into Easter, which I've got these two, again, from Glitter Mix Canada. That's it for seasonal, I think. Halloween is the last one. So I've got quite a few pages left here to grow for seasonal. Now I've got this miscellaneous book and these will go in on my miscellaneous. So I'm gonna do the unicorns first.
Okay guys, so my camera cut out and I didn't realize, um, so I ended up putting the rest of the sort of fashion stuff. So I had some zippers, some denim, shoes, leopard, um, then that went into characters like Betty Boop, Hello Kitty, and then I have some Disney characters from Glitter Mix Canada. So I have some space left here, but it's not going to be enough to put all of those Minx kind of full coverage things and the other um, leaves and sort of tinsel paper and stuff like that. So I'm going to order another gray book and that way I will have two miscellaneous books. These will also go into the miscellaneous and um, I have these extra floral ones here, but like I said, I'm going to put those in the rack. So I do like leaving this open because I do love florals and butterflies, so I'm sure over time I will buy more. So I'm just going to clip all of these um, decals here together, and I'm going to get a couple of other clips, and I'm going to clip everything else together as well, just so that I have everything ready for when I get my new book. Okay, so I'm just going to put these into... Um, a container that I have over on the side and wait till I get the new book and then I can put them all in Okay, there. so currently all of the books um, will not fit in here. So I think what I'm going to do next is organize these so that I can see if I can make some space and then I will be able to hopefully put all of my books um, in this drawer as well. So I just realized I forgot to take the decals out of this book as well. <laughs> so I have more decals to organize. Okay. So these are more butterflies. And I think what I should have probably done was started the butterflies from the back. So I'm going to take them all out of here. <laughs> I know you guys, I know, I know, I know. This is just what happens when we do things and we are just, we're making it work as we go. We're figuring it out as we go.
Okay, guys, so the next thing that I want to organize are some extra rhinestone, um, rhinestones that I've purchased. Um, as we know, Swarovski is not going to be selling to the general public. So I stocked up on some Swarovskis. And so I need to put those into this container here. And then I have I have those. Then I have two new containers, two empty ones, that I want to put all of my dried flowers in one of them. I hope I can fit them all in one. And then my gold foil into another one, or all of my metallic foils, I guess. They're not all gold. So let's start with the rhinestones. So I think I have, and I honestly mix my sh my shapes. I don't separate them. Um, it's fine for me to to mix them. Okay, so, uh, which way does this open? Oh, do I? I have it the wrong way. There we go. So for the flowers, I'm kind of thinking I'd like to organize them by color. So the first thing is going to be to open up all of the containers and get them ready. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with this container because it pretty much has every color from the rainbow and even more. So there's 12 of these colors. So what I'm going to do is open up 12 of these um, little containers here. thinking I might um, try to put as much of this greenery in these containers here that are left over because I'm going to obviously have to get a whole nother <laughs> container and then I don't know where I'm going to put it because I only have room for eight of them in my drawer the way that I have my drawer set up now. Oh, 
right, so that's how this one looks. I am going to have to order <laughs> more. Um, so I will maybe organize the rest of my flowers in this other one that I have and I will leave the gold leaf. Well, I wanna see how the gold leaf fits, so I'm gonna do the gold leaf. So this is what I still have left. Um, I have more flowers here, I realized after. And I still have some here and here, and I think that is it. So again, I will have to get another one of these. I'm going to order that and another decal book. I thought I would have enough, but not quite so much. And then I still have these ones as well that I have to, so I still have all this <laughs> to organize. I think one more should be enough for that. So I'm gonna get one more of those. And now I'm going to do all of my gold leaf stuff. So, oh, this one is cracked, dang it. Well, that sucks. Yeah, these ones are all cracked. Okay, I'm going to message the company about these ones, so I'm not going to put these in because this one is totally cracked. So that is going to be it for that part of the organizing, I guess, because I am going to need to order, I'm gonna to have to message them about this and then also order another one. All right guys, so if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have this um, display rack on the side of my desk. And basically this is what I use to display my new items or seasonal items. And I have a whole video dedicated to this. I will link it below for you guys. If you don't have something like this, I highly, highly recommend it. It has helped me tremendously to make sure that I am using products that I buy. And it also encourages me to come up with ideas. It gives me ideas because I have a plethora of things here to work with. And when the clients come in, they sit right here and they immediately look here and they start like looking through everything, which gets them excited. So they get to see all of the new stuff as well. So right now I kind of still have sort of I have some summer stuff in here but I have more like spring colors for gel polishes um, I have some things that I'm going to keep in here but I have a ton of stuff on my desk over here that I will show you guys that I am wanting to put in here again I was hoping I would have um, my new pack from Glitter Mix Canada I'm so excited for the items that are coming in there they're going to be very bright and summery. Um, Suki from Glitter Mix Canada is amazing. She's just been super, super, super busy. So I'm just waiting for my package pac patiently. So first off, what I wanna do is basically go through here and check out if there's anything that I want to put away. So I think I'm gonna put these striping tapes away and I just have a bowl here. It's like my little put away bowl. I have a rainbow striping tape, so I, I think I'll keep that one out. I haven't used it yet, but being that it's summer, and I believe June is also, um, oh my gosh, Pride uh, month, so I think that will be okay for that. And then I have these other ones I haven't really touched or used, so I'm going to get rid of those. Um, I do have to put away all of the pastel colors I'm going to get rid of, so anything that is pastel-y, um, I might keep this purple, that pink. I'll get rid of this because I have another one. I'll get rid of this. I always keep my black and white up here because I, you know, tend to grab grab those. I'll get these. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep this one because it's a brighter kind of tealy color. And I'm going to get rid of the rest of them. Oh, and I have two Luxio ones here that I have to get rid of and uh, give to my girlfriend that I forgot to give her when I gave away all my stuff. I'm going to get my canned air because I also like to blow it out to clean it. So I've got the, oh, and I have some gold foil. I probably could put that away. It's matte gold. I haven't used it yet. I'll probably put that away as well. So I've got these floral decals, excuse me, they're foils from Glitter Mix Canada. I'm going to leave these out because I've been using them a lot lately. So I'm going to use those. And then I had taken out some other floral um, foils from a different company and just some other foils. And I haven't really used them. These I would say are, I would say these are more springy, vintagey. So I think I might put these away as well. If I have room for them still when I'm done, if they're if there's still like space, I'll use them. But 
I have quite a few things to put in here, so I don't know that I will have the room for everything. And then I have a bunch of glitter. I'm just gonna go through it and see if there's any colors that kind of jump out to me for summer. So like this teal is really bright, so I'll keep that one. Um, these are more pastel, pastel, pastel. Yeah, these are all more pastel, so those will go away. Um, these I'm keeping out for sure. These are the glow in the dark ones from Glitter Mix Canada. I believe Sharin was the one who named these ones. Oh wait, I'm missing them. They're not even together. So there's an orange. There is a like traditional kind of whitish yellow one, a green one, and there is a pink one somewhere. Here it is. So there's those four. So I will clip those four together just because they are kind of part of a collection and I will definitely keep those out. I'm just gonna put those here for now. These need to go away. I have some flower um, glitter from Glitter Mix Canada. These are super bright, I love those. I think I will keep all of these ones out just because they're really fun and they are super summery. So one of them is from Glitter Boutique Canada and it's just actually a white one. I might, hmm, I'll leave it, I'll keep it out because it is just part of sort of the daisy kind of collection. Um, so I'll clip those together as well, put those aside. Okay, Rainbow Rocks is such an amazing glitter, you guys. I showed it in one of my top five favorites. If you don't have this one from Glitter Mix Canada, you absolutely need it for summer. It has like iridescent and it picks, it looks gold, but it's, I think it's actually iridescent because when, when I was using, I don't know, you guys, it just has like every color of the rainbow. It looks gold. It looks iridescent. It's amazing. So this I will definitely be keeping out. And then I have this one um, that I also showed you guys that I had ordered and it has a bunch of flowers. It's really hard to see in the bag, but I, I showed it to you guys in the video. I'll see if I can kind of tilt it up for you. It is really, really, really pretty. Um, I didn't, when I first opened it, I was like, Ooh, I don't know if I'll like it, but it is very cool. I haven't used it yet though. So I definitely want to leave that one out. Um, I've used this blushing stars one and it was actually really pretty too, but oh, yeah, I'll keep it out. And then I have these little, um, butterflies, but they're more pastel. They're from Glitter Mix Canada called Flying Beauty. So I'll put those ones away. And then I have this like bright pink one that I also ordered called Blushing Bride from Glitter Mix Canada. So I'll keep that one out as well. So I'll just put those to the side because I don't know how I'm going to kind of lump them together. And then these were sort of new glitters, but they're kind of pastel. So I'm going to put them away more on the pastel side get those away these are those little paper butterflies that you can get everywhere so I'm gonna put this one away because it's more I would say on the fall color scheme I don't even know I think I just put it out because it was new and then these ones have like a holographic kind of sheen to them I haven't really used them but I'm going to leave them out because I still may use them with summer here okay so now if I could get these out of here. Ooh. Oh gosh, I might not even be able to get them out. They seem to be kind of stuck for some reason. Okay, there we go. Um, I have these like neon stars. I can't remember her name. Kim Kimber. Oh my gosh, I will put her name here. She sent these to me. They're from Profiles Backstage and it's called Spring Break and they're like a bright um, star glitter. It's kind of hard to see because for some reason the lid looks a little cloudy but they're a bright I don't know why it won't focus it's like focusing on my face there we go <laughs> it's a bright star glitter so I'm going to keep that because they are neon and then these were really cool too she sent me these as well and it I can't I guys there's so many in here I don't know if she just took a bunch of stuff and threw it in here for me but they have little holes in them, so it's almost like they're meant for beading or something. I'm not sure. There is like so many um, different patterns in here. It is, oh, I just spilled some. Just ridiculous. So I'll have to sweep that up. So I've got those. And here are some more daisies. These ones are from Glitter Mix Canada. I can't remember which ones they are. They're chameleon, though. I think they're lavender chameleon, so I'm going to keep those out because... I have the daisies out and the rest of these I think can pretty much 
almost all of them will go away because they are all more on the pastel springy side except for these butterflies which are from Glitter Boutique Canada. These are iridescent butterfly, rainbow butterflies. There we go. I'll keep those. I'll put that away. I feel like this dot glitter is more... Mm, yeah, let me see. I've got some other... I'll keep this out for now, but I may end up putting it aside because it, it to me it looks more, I would say, like Eastery. Yeah, I'm going to put it away. It's more Easter. And then this is just another butterfly one, but um, they're not summery or anything. So those will go away as well. And then I have some new stamps here. So again, like I said, I like to showcase not only seasonal items, but anything that new that is new that comes in so that I can, you know, be encouraged to use it. So I had a couple of clients who had asked me um, about if I had any old school lettering. I don't know what it's called, but it's like old font. And so I ended up getting this stamping plate here and then this one here. Now I haven't used either of them because the girls that originally asked me to order them, they changed their mind and went with different designs. So I haven't used those yet. So I want to keep those out. Um, I have used this one. I still want to keep this out because I just really like it. It's one of those, I think I showed it in, yeah, I, I'm sure I showed this one in, oh gosh, I wish you guys could see it better. There we go. Um, in one of my top five favorites. It's, it's one of those, um, I don't know what you call it, where you draw something, but you don't lift your pen and it's got like faces on here. There's a dog, there's giraffes. This one's really unique. There's like a pretty lady with a hat on and she's kind of looking over her shoulder. There's some cocktail drinks. Um, there's like a little naked bum. There's a skull I used yesterday. There's a cat, like there's so many different ones on here, not just the traditional kind of um, faces that we see. So I want to keep that one out. And this one is more of the tradition. This is the one that I showcased in my video. This one is the faces. I'm still really liking that and using that. And this one as well, which is again, like the single stroke drawing or whatever you call it, but it's more floral. Um, it's really, really cool too. So I'm going to keep those stamping plates out um, as well. And then I have pulled some stuff I'm going to show you here. So I just want to give this a good little blow job. <laughs> and get all the dust I'm going to start off with the gel polishes. So I've basically pulled out nearly all of the neon ones that I did in my neon, um, my Madame Glam neon gel polish video. You guys, if you've watched that video, I have put, I have purchased so many neon colors in that video. So I've pulled out pretty much all of them. And yeah, so I just need to put them up here now in rainbow order. So I'm going to start with the one that is the most, I guess, reddish. So I've got all of my colors in there now. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've got that, and then usually I go next in with glitter. So I've also pulled out some of these bags. Again, these are just remnants of glitter. I've got a fuchsia with gold, a fuchsia with silver. I have a um, teal butterfly, holographic, not holographic, um, chameleon. I have a orange with gold. This one is really fun. It's kind of green and it's got flowers again. You can see there, this one's also kind of cool. It has flowers and hearts and circles and all kinds of things. And then this is like a bright kind of reddish orange. I was just trying to find anything that I have that's really like bright and vibrant. This one is like a purple and blue. And then this one I thought was fun too because it has the addition of black in it which makes it just a little bit different. So I've got those. And so now I basically need to make my little clippy bag, clip my bags together of glitter. So I generally like to clip the same size bags together. So these ones are all tall bags. So I'm going to clip those. And if I can, I do flip them over 
and clip them. So they will go in like so. And then I just need one more clip, I think. And I will stick these ones together as well. So I've got the daisies together. I've got the glow in the dark ones together for Glitter Mix Canada. And then I've just got these random other ones that are together like so. And usually I can get them four across. Yeah. So those are the glitters that are in the bags. Now I have a ton of glitters that are not in the bag. I also have these. I just want to make sure I pull everything over here so that I don't miss anything. So I also pulled out some other stamping plates. So um, I pulled out some that are summery. So I've got this one here, which is called, it's uh, Nicole Diary. It's Tropical Collection 005. And it's just like, um, what do you call those? Flamingos and I don't know. It's just kind of fun in summary. I've never used it, so I thought I'd better pull that one out. And then I have another one that's very tropical. And it's also a Nicole Diary 003. And then I have some that are, I wouldn't say necessarily super summery. Well, this one is like greenery. It's a Nicole Diary. Greenery one. It is Nicole Diary 177. And then I have Nicole Diary 033. And it just has various like floral patterns. I'm sorry I'm not giving you guys the greatest view. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so Nicole Diary 033. And then the other ones are not really summery, but they're just newer ones. I've had them for a little bit, not super, super long, and I just really like them. So this one is Nicole Diary 115, and I just like the simplicity of the patterns on this. Very, very simple. I love that one. And then this one I recently used in a, a Watch Me Work video with some very bright pink nails. You guys, my hands are so dry. Oof. Um, this is a Nicole Diary 076 and it's a marbling, oof, marbling stamping plate. I wish I could give you guys like a way better view, but it's really, really cool. I love this one. And this is a good old scroll one, Nicole Diary 105. Again, these are not super new, but they're just really nice. So I'm pulling those out. And another trick that you guys can do, um, in regards to this, um, what is it called? Rack. So I have the seven tiered rack. They do come in different sizes, but what I like to do also is if you're going to keep the same items in here. So like, for example, I just had my spring items in there for quite a while. I'll kind of rotate the glitters, right? Because when a client sits down, they're going to see the first ones that are in front, right? Now they grab them because they wash their hands. It's fine. They'll grab them. They'll look through them, but they usually will just see the first one. And some of my clients are, you know, really trying to be very cautious with COVID and they don't want to touch anything. So they just see what's in front. So you can kind of swap out the glitters, you know, move them around, bring the ones from the back forward, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks, same with your stamping plates, like whichever ones you want to use first, put them in front. So I haven't used these tropical ones at all. They're brand new. Um, well, they're not brand new. I've had them, but I've just never used them. So I'm going to put those in front just so that those are the ones they see first, if that makes sense. So um, I'm going to put those here and then the florals I will put back here because you can still see the colors. It's not going to block them. Now, if I put these back here and then the florals, you can't see them. So you kind of have to be a little strategic as to how you place your items. But um, the good thing about the, the nail polish is that it's high enough that they will still be able to see the, the colors on top. And then I have this decal here, um, these um, striping decals, excuse me. And then I have these ones that I was mentioning earlier. So this one is really, really pretty, very bright and summery. It's like a floral. Yeah, it's all florals. This is a greenery one. Greenery is so popular right now because plants are so popular. I have told you guys before, I'm not a green thumb person. I am not a plant person. So I couldn't tell you anything about plants, but they're, they're very, very, very popular right now. Okay, so the next ones are all food items and I thought they were super fun. So there's these ones here, which are like strawberries and cherries and watermelon, all of the things. 
This is more watermelon and strawberry. Very, very cool. And this one is really, I love this one. And funny enough, I don't know why I love it because it's oranges and greens and yellows, which you guys know are never my kind of go-to, but I just love them. I, I love these like full pattern ones. They're so very cool. And then this one is like ice cream and candy and uh, cupcakes and that kind of like more like sweet treats. So I'm going to put those all in there as well. And again, whichever one I want to use first, which I love this one, so I'm going to put that on the front. That's the one that I'm going to place so that they can see it first and they will gravitate towards it. And I do like to use a clip for those as well. So those will go right there. So basically now I have room for um, glitter. So I'm going to just slide all my glitter over because there's quite a bit. Here. Like this part of the video is not calm i'm very loud right now i, I feel um and so it is what it is <laughs> so i've basically gone through and pulled out all of my like bright neony kind of glitters that i i mean i shouldn't say all <laughs> i still have a lot more in the drawers but i pulled out quite a few so i'm not going to kind of show you them all because well maybe i could Now I did pull out my floral um, deco book and my, my, my floral and butterfly deco books because I thought, oh, if I can't, you know, fit any more decals, you know, if I didn't want to put any more together, I could just put the books out, but I don't have any more room. So I'm going to put these back in the drawer and then I do have these two little butterfly um, containers and, you know, I could put them right here. They're not going to get seen very well, but. I'll shove them there so that I can maybe hopefully remember to use them because I just haven't haven't used them yet. So you can see how like exciting this is if you walked into a salon or a nail studio like mine and you sat down on the desk and this was right next to you, you would absolutely gravitate towards wanting to pick little goodies out of here. Absolutely you would. So the problem when they're behind you or on, on a shelf or anything like that, your clients can still see it, but they want to touch it. I find that they gravitate towards things that they can either get really close to and see them really well or that they can touch. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys do this. It is definitely um, something you will love. I know that a lot of people who um, watched my video on it or just seen me talking about it in the past that have, you know, purchased something like this or smaller. Um, I know some people will just keep like a little container on their desk, like just a small little dollar store container and they'll just put kind of new items in there if they're just kind of starting out and they're just collecting now. Um, just beginning to collect nail art items and they don't have, you know, as much as me. I mean, I've been in the industry for 12 years, so I have a lot of stuff. Um, so they'll just have like even a little container on the desk that the clients can look at. It's they've I've gotten so many comments and messages from people saying how much they love the idea and that they're loving how it's working for them in their salon and how it's helping them to use the product and helping them to come up with ideas. And that was another reason that I was noticing I needed to switch it out because I was, you know, clients would come in and they'd say, oh, I don't have an idea today. You do whatever. And I'd be like, oh. I don't really know what to do. Now, guys, I will be able to come up with tons of new ideas because I have all of this new stuff right here. So the next thing I have to do, obviously, is put all of this stuff away. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I've pretty much organized everything. All right, guys, so that is it for my organization video. You guys, I love how the seven tier graph looks. It's so fun and so bright. It was definitely time for a change. I was like, so bored of the way that it already looked it had looked with the spring stuff I was like over the spring colors ready for some brightness and I mean I've been doing a lot of bright colors on clients but just having it sitting here instead of like over there or stuff in my drawer I don't know it just makes a big difference and I know my clients are gonna love it as soon as they sit down they're just gonna be like oh my gosh you got a bunch of new stuff and really 
Not much of it is new at all, only a few things, but it's new to them, so that's why it works. And I'm kind of bummed that I don't have enough of the containers to finish organizing my, what was it, my decals um, and my flowers. And that one was cracked, so I did just message them, um, hoping that they will respond and either send me a new one or give me a refund. And I've already ordered a new decal book and um, another container for the rest of the flowers anyway, so that I can continue to get all of this stuff done. You guys know when it comes to organizing your nail studio or your nail salon for that matter, it's always changing because you're constantly buying stuff. You get kind of bored of the way things are. Things start to get cluttered over time because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I don't always put things back exactly where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Or because I buy something new, I don't have anywhere to put it. So I was really happy to get in that one drawer today, um, particular, and organize all of the pigments and everything. So yes, I feel very accomplished so far. So I'm going to actually film my nail room tour next. And I don't know when these videos will be posted. I have quite a few videos on deck already, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys, please share it with someone else. And as always, have an amazing day. Bye.